My name is Nana. I'm a student of Bachelors of Commerce. My major is Economics, and I'm also planning to declare a minor in Maths. I have come from New Delhi, which is the capital city of India, and I have been here for about 18 months now. I actually arrived on New Year's Eve in 2013. When I was coming from the airport, there was a driver who had come to pick me up. It's a free ride that St. Mary's provide to all uh, new incoming students. I was just very curious, trying to look at my surroundings. Halifax has uh, different kinds of weather. You will see a mix of uh, rain and snow and sunlight. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. Delhi is extremely hot, so you wouldn't really need to bother about carrying something special to prepare for Halifax summers. But to prepare for Halifax winters, boots and long overcoats and caps and mufflers and gloves and umbrellas. Thinking about it in Indian currency, you should be prepared to spend from 2,000 rupees to up to as far as you want to go. <laughs> when you come to Halifax, uh, one thing that will certain to pleasantly surprise you, the people here are extremely warm and friendly. Once when I was here, I was traveling in the bus and I was looking at the map and I wasn't sure where I was going. And uh, a lady sitting close by said, uh, do you need any help? Are you lost? People walking by, uh, would want to help you. That's the thing about the people of Halifax, that they uh, are helpful and they're warm. There are lots of events that take place in Halifax throughout the year. There's a busker festival, there's a Grey Pride Parade. They celebrate their uh, July 1st, the Canada Day, very uh, boisterously <laughs> with fireworks. You definitely want to drop by and see some of these events and see what Canadian culture and people are all about. The thing that surprised me is the beauty of the place. <laughs> You have the Atlantic Ocean, the Point Pleasant Park, where you'd see lots of people taking their evening and morning walks with their dogs. The Public Gardens, which is uh, full of greenery and uh, flowers, especially during the summer months. And you certainly want to visit the Halifax waterfront. And you can probably enjoy a delicious cone of ice cream while you're taking that walk with your friend. In terms of transportation, you would find a variety here. Um, there is a cab service, which is expensive, but very easily and readily available. You just have to dial up a number and they'll be over in about five minutes. The bus service is excellent in Halifax and they cover many, many routes. They don't have subway trains here or trolleys. The ferry service, if you need from Dartmouth to uh, Halifax, I would say that any Indian student who's coming definitely wants to travel on that ferry, if they don't, even if they don't want to go to Dartmouth. It was just an excellent experience. I loved it. If you're living off campus, you would have to either cook your own meals or you would have to go and eat outside. Eating outside is certainly a more expensive option and with regards to that, if you like Indian food, you want to bring some Indian spices along, you definitely want to spend a couple of minutes with your mom in the kitchen every day <laughs> to learn some cooking and get better at it because believe me, you'll have lots and lots of opportunities to cook here. Try and get yourself involved with the various activities, events on campus. Uh, joining societies is uh, something which will which will be helpful, trying to find out societies that interest you. And the other way is, if you're especially looking to connect with Indian students, then there's a society called Disha here. That's a group of lots of Indian students who come celebrate festivals like Holi and Diwali. Volunteering is certainly good, both for the experience and for um, utilizing your time well. You would find orientation day very helpful in terms of getting some preliminary information that would prove useful. For example, they talk about bank accounts, they talk about food plan, they talk about off-campus residence and what to expect when you are studying in St. Mary's. The advice I'd like to give to anybody, to any student uh, who's coming to Halifax, go and talk with your professors. Uh, so don't be scared to have a conversation with them. Yes, people are busy, but they're also very gentle and they understand student needs. And reach out to your fellow um, students in the class. If you're coming from India, you would need a different cell phone connection. You would find many service providers over here in Halifax might serve them well to bring things like medicine if they think that they would need them very much. You will find the power adapters here as well. At the outset, uh, you may not want to go out to a shopping center to look for them. So bringing that would be helpful. If you see me walking by, <laughs> you're very welcome to have a conversation.